guys we're gonna be corner hunting pennies um welcome back to my channel and we do have a wheat penny ender for this video um so we're gonna be corner hunting these um it's 25 dollars and it's $25 in customer wrapped rolls and I'm trying to find which ender it was Okay, so I'll be back and I'll see if I can find the ender. Alright, so I found the Wheat Penny Ender. It is a 1952 Denver. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is right there. It has the Lincoln side up. We're going to hunt that one last. Um, I have a bunch of rolls kind of sprawled out here. And we're going to do the first roll live. And see if we get anything that is interesting. And it's always okay if there's nothing in the first roll because we know we have a lot more rolls to go. So... I'll get into the rest of these and I'll tell you when I find something. Alright guys, second roll in and we already have a wheat set. 1957 Denver. Let's check for any more. Well, that's an already pretty good find right there. Very, very second roll. And we already have a wheat scent. So that's pretty good. We'll add that to the stack of finds. I mean, we don't have that much. We don't have really a stack of finds, but we have a wheat scent already. So anyway, I'll be back with you. Guys, oh my gosh. Look at how many. These are all copper. These are all copper. Seriously. These are all copper. There's like 69 S's and... 59s and like what 1970 D 1975 1978 1974 1976 79 75 an uncirculated 1970 these are all copper did we just get like a copper hoard I think we might have guys guys that is insane well, let's see if we get a wheat scent in this roll. It's very possible. There's an uncirculated 1969S. 79, 73. This whole entire roll is copper. Whole entire roll. Guys, we might have hit like a collection dump or something. This is... This is amazing. This whole entire roll is copper. Man. That is... I'm pretty stoked about that, actually. So, um, let's open the next roll live. The next roll isn't all copper. But that whole entire roll is copper. Seriously. Well, anyway, I'll get into the rest of these, and if I have another full roll of copper or weedy or anything, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Well, we set. We got our second full roll of copper. Like 67, 76, 
78, 74, 72, 79, 72, 73, 81, 77, 64, there's even a few estimate marks in here. I'll keep a hold out for those. Guys, seriously, this is insane. I never knew I would ever find this much copper in a roll. Like, this whole entire roll is copper. Some of these look like they've been cleaned or something, but yeah, a whole roll of copper. Oh. Two copper pennies fell out of that. Guys, amazing amount of copper so far. I'm picking rolls at random, so. Well, right, roll right after that, we got our third full roll of copper. 1962, 1971, 1963, 1963, 1973, 1979, 1981. I'm just gonna go through the dates here and see if there are any wheat pennies in here. Doesn't look like it so far. Here's a 59. Let's keep that. Here's a 64 with some odd toning. 81, 71 S. Take a look at that. 76, 73. Sorry, just got a notification. Um, so here's a 74 S. Um, so, I don't see anything that is screaming wheat pennies, but it's still amazing that you can still find full rolls of copper out in circulation. Alright, now let's do another roll live and see if we get another full roll of copper. Okay, it looks like nope for this roll. Um, I'll get into it and I'll see you guys in a minute. Third full roll of copper right here. Um, I'm just now I'm just gonna be checking for wheat pennies or anything of that nature. Basically anything interesting among this pile and this pile of copper. 70S, we'll take a look at that. 69S, we'll take a look at that. Um, 69D, 63, 74D, 74S. Um, 69. So. Looks like there's no wheat pennies in this roll. I'll continue and I'll be back. Essentially, every roll is going to be guaranteed one copper at least. Alright guys, we got our second wheat penny. It's a 1953S. Weedy there. So that's wheat penny number two for the, I guess you could call it a box. Because after all, it is $25 in pennies. So... Anyway, I will get back to it, and I'll see you in the next one. Guys, we got three Wheaties in this roll, and one of them looks really, really old. Alright, so the first two are a 1949S and a 1946. The old one is a 1929S. Oh my gosh, that is that is pretty old, so... Man... We got three Wheaties in that roll and a 2009. I'll set that aside. Man, we are doing really well. 
Um, I just hope there's a lot more in these rolls. Um, this is the same kind of... I just dropped it. This is the same kind of roll, so hopefully we get some more wheats. Let's do it live. Oh, we got a wheat scent right away. Oh, oh no! We got a steel scent! We got a steel scent! My gosh! Guys, we got a steel scent! 1943, right there! And a weedy. 1946. Oh, we got two! We got two steel scents! My gosh! No way! No way! This box is turning out to be awesome! No! Nineteen forty-three steel scent, guys. I just scored that live. I just got that live. Two steel scents. Man, I've never gotten a steel scent in a roll. Especially, I've never gotten one live. I've never gotten a steel scent in a roll. Man. Man. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try... There's a bunch of more rolls that this person turned in, so hopefully there's a ton of Wheaties. I just hope there's an absolute ton of Wheaties. Oh, we got another seal scent! Yeah, see, that one works. My gosh! 1943, right there. Oh, it's not even done. The rule's not done. We got three steel scents. No way! That's absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely. This is an amazing hunt. Especially for pennies. I never do this good on pennies. How good are these rolls? Oh, we got another wheat penny. Oh, we got a dime in the roll. 1949S wheat penny. The dime is a 1985. So now we have three steel cents. Gosh, I I've never done this good with pennies. All right, so this. Maybe I should do all of this live. I'm seriously thinking I should do all of this live. Because, like, half of this roll is copper, too. Here's a 59. 77, 60. Guys. Guys. Ah, oh, man. Guys, I've never gotten a steel scent, let alone three. And they were in that same batch of rolls. Whoa, that's a really beaten up penny. That's a little bit of a backyard, um, of a sidewalk penny right there. That's what I would call it. Guys, I'm seriously thinking I should do some of these rolls live. Honestly. Oh, this is like wheat and steel scent green right here. It's the store, right? 
Guys, we got more. We got more of these rolls. Guys, this must be a collection. There's three more Wheaties in this roll. 1917, 1952, 1951. We got... No! No! That's over a hundred years old. No! No! Guys, how many Wheaties do we have? We already have 13 Wheaties. Oh my gosh. No freaking way. Guys. Guys. This is amazing. This is seriously amazing. That's my little brother over there. Guys, you have no idea how good this feels. After getting nothing, after getting barely anything in the other box. With these rolls, we're getting Wheaties in like practically every roll. Guys, this is the first roll of the rolls of we of the coins that I haven't gotten a weedy in. This is insane. I never score this good. I never do. Ever. I would be stoked, let, let alone getting these. Just 13 Wheaties would be amazing for me. Guys, I'll be back. Guys, I'm gonna do the Ender Roll live. I'm just, I've been, it's been so crazy that I'm willing to do the Ender Roll in the middle of the hunt. Oh, we got two wheat cents, 1956, and 1952 Denver. We got a 2009. That's two more wheats to add to the collection. Are we going to get a full roll of Wheaties? Guys, are we going to get a full roll of Wheaties? Because we already have like 15 Wheaties. Including in 1917. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's open this older roll. See if it's all copper. Well, it is all copper. I expected that. Guys, somebody must have dumped a collection. I'm not joking. I rarely ever get even the slightest bit of a collection dump. I rarely get it. Let's see something. 
the All right, this is just, <laughs> it's just insane. So we got like 10, 15 Wheaties in one pile. And we got an, that's not including the 1917. Um, uh, we got a bunch of 2009s, we got some 59s, and we got a bunch of nicer condition coins. This is an amazing hunt. This is my best hunt ever. Boo, boo to this roll. It's all, it's all clad coins. Boo. Let's throw that in the bag. We don't care for that. We care for Wheaties. Boo to that roll. We got a Canadian, our very first, oh, very sec, a second Canadian. We got a 1983 and a 2010 Canadian. Oh, we got another foreign. Oh, this is a Barakan coin. Baraka? Yeah. Or, or Baca, 1996. It's a foreign yeah. coin. Un Santissimo de Balboa. Yeah, Balboa. Uh, half dollar make you holler gets these in their uh, half dollar sets. Um, the Balboa coins. Funny, I actually thought that was a wheat back. It kind of looked like one. Um. So, guys, this is a really big win for me. Not not counting not counting the copper. I'm not even counting the copper, guys. This is just it's just insane. All right, we got another one of these rolls. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked right now. Oh, we got another Steely. We got a King George. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, we got a Steely, a King George, and a Weedy in the same roll. And we got another Canadian. We got a 1937. My God. Canadian. We got a King George, 1950. We got another Steely, 1943 S. My gosh. I'm seriously so stoked. I've never been this more stoked. Oh. I've never been this more stoked. This is a collection dump for sure. There's no way. There's no way it isn't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got another steel scent. That's five. 1953 S. Weedy. No, I'm, I'm going to start freaking out. <laughs> I'm seriously going to start freaking out. This is, this is just, just no. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be a freak out one. Like... I cannot handle this much weediness. This video is going to be forever long. I apologize, guys. But we have to do this. We just have to. It's, it's coin roll hunting business. I guess you could call it. The business of coin roll hunting. Um, so I'm kind of calmed down now. I was freaking out before. We literally got everything in this box that I wanted to get in it that we could ever possibly get, except for an Indian head. I'm still looking to get my very first Indian head penny. I still haven't gotten one yet, but um, there is definitely some possibility to get one in this batch. Another full roll of copper. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually save one of these rolls of copper. I'm going to keep one of these rolls. Yeah. 
Gosh, guys, I'm gonna. I freaked out over bad things before, but not good things. I know if I sell these on eBay, these are technically searched, but I can still sell them. People will still buy them. Either way, this is a big win. Either way. We got more. So anyone who wants to buy a full roll of copper, they can, because I'm in the I'm in the market for that. Man, I'm just killing it lately. I know I keep complimenting myself. I'm sorry if I'm bragging. By the way, one fact about me is that I hate people who brag. So I'm kind of being a hypocrite of myself. I can't open this. Yeah. When you hit it this time, you <laughs> keep eating. Guys. Mm -hmm. There's no coin or hunt ever that has been better. This tops it. Guys, this video is this video's is already 27 minutes long. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. But just think about how insane this video is. Just think about it. Like we got how many? How many now? We got five steel cents we got a dime in the roll we got two oldies we got a balboa coin we got a king george we got some canadians we have nice condition coins we have 59 we have 2009s we have wheaties we ha i can't even say it all i can't even say it all guys and we still have some rolls Guys, this is just an insanely huge haul of Wheaties and other goodies. The title of the video is going to make you want to watch it. Guys, subscribe. You know you want to. Like my videos. Comment. Share. Turn on the notification bell so you'll... Be inspired to collect all that stuff. Mm. Guys, with this video, you know you want to subscribe. Just admit it. Just admit it. So there was definitely a copper in every single roll. So that's guaranteed. I might just keep a whole roll of copper for myself. Because. Why not? Is there a bird or something? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
your seatbelt. Guys, I'm going to Guys, you should definitely hit that subscribe button right now. We found one. We found a. I sound like a siren. Um, but uh, we found a young head, 1964. We're gonna add that to the old Canadian pile. I mean, old foreign pile. Two new coins. Guys, we have one of the uh, one of the amazing rolls. Weez, come on, come out. Oh, we got a weedy. Only one. I say that like it's nothing. Only one weedy in this roll. 1956. There you go. Guys. How insane. We're finished. We finished the box. But guys, how insane is that? Um, I'm gonna put these coins um, alongside each other, and then we're gonna do the wrap up of what we ended up finding. I know, that's, I was wondering that too. I have tons of microfiber. I can just get them all out. I know. I've been thinking because you've got one that's out here. It's clean. There's a whole bunch under the washer or dryer. I can't remember. I use it for cleaning the bathroom. Those haven't been used, so we can have kitchen ones too. Yeah, I think it would work then. Actually, I started using that to wipe the stainless steel. You actually can use those instead of a sponge too. Yes. True. Well, and the cool thing is, then you can buy tons of packs of them, and you can switch your sponge every yeah. day. Yeah. Guys, we got like half a roll of weedies. <laughs> And the two oldies, 1917, and then the dime. But I was off, and I don't agree with this. But All right, with so. On to the wrap up. We have, oh yeah, we have um, some foreigns. We have two oldies, a 1964 young head and a 1950 King George. They're not that old, but still pretty cool. Um, this isn't old, but it's a Barakan coin, or Barakan coin, the Balboa. Um, we have three regular Canadians. I say regular. Um, we have five steel cents. Some of them are actually in pretty nice shape. We have a 1917, a 1937. We have a dime in the roll, 1985. We have a bunch of nicer condition coins with a bunch of mixed S mint marks um, here and here. Um, we have some 59s, and this is all the Wheaties that we got. I'll go through dates. 1957D, 1956D, 1957D, 1953S, 1952D, 1956D, 1946D, 1953S, 1949S, 1946S, 1949S, 1949S, 1952S, and 1951S. Guys. I challenge, 
I challenge anyone who wants to to beat this in a box. <sighs> well, it looks like the customers at that Chase Bank in the grocery store really don't know what to look for because we have a whole or a different array of finds. Anyway. Oh, we still got one more roll, actually. I'm just going to do this one quickly here. Sorry about that, guys. Dropping coins. Um, so, I guess that is it. Um, we had... We definitely had a lot of fines. Um, we definitely did. And I'm keeping two full, two rolls of full, that are full of copper. I'm keeping those as well because I can sell them or something like that. So anyway, um, this was an absolutely like painstakingly good hunt. Like it was seriously amazing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channels, Creative Ender Collects and Andrew's Second Life. Um, also, turn on the notification bell for them for more videos like this. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get more video, another video like this. Um, you can also like, comment, share for my channels. Anyway, go Creative Collectors. Peace.